The Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake was released in 1990 for the MSX2. This sequel to Metal Gear was only released in Japan because a few months earlier, the West received its own non-canon sequel, Snake's Revenge, for the NES. The real Metal Gear 2 takes place in 1999. After the end of the Cold War, every country abolished their nuclear weapons programs. However, the world is in a new crisis after a series of shocks to the oil industry. Oil reserves are at a critical low. Miraculously, a Czech scientist, Dr. Kio Marv, has successfully bioengineered an algae that can produce petroleum-grade hydrocarbons. This algae, Oilix, was revealed by Dr. Marv at the World Energy Conference in Prague. But on his way to an Oilix demonstration in the United States, Dr. Marv was kidnapped by soldiers from the rogue military nation Zanzibar Land. Making matters worse, NATO discovers that Zanzibar Land has acquired a stockpile of nuclear warheads. The leaders of Zanzibar Land plan to hold the world hostage by controlling the supply of oil via Oilix with added insurance, the threat of a nuclear attack. Following the events of the Outer Heaven Uprising, Solid Snake suffered from PTSD due to the atrocities he witnessed and committed in Outer Heaven. He retired from Foxhound and secluded himself in the mountains. The new commander of Foxhound, Colonel Roy Campbell, approached Snake with one more mission, infiltrate Zanzibar land and rescue Dr. Keo Marv. Snake entered Zanzibar land via a hey-ho, a high altitude, high opening jump, discreetly thanks to a diversionary operation on the Zanzibar Land-China border. Colonel Campbell tells Snake that Dr. Marv is equipped with a transmitter. While searching for the transmitter's signal, Snake receives a call from Holly White, a CIA operative posing as a journalist, who had infiltrated Zanzibar Land a month prior. With the assistance of Holly, Snake follows the transmitter's signal to Dr. Marv, who mocks Snake for falling into his trap. It isn't really Kyo Marv, but Zanzibar Land mercenary, Black Color, who dressed as Dr. Marv in Morris Transmitter. Black Color, a former member of the NASA unit Extraterrestrial Environment Special Forces, dies in his battle with Snake. With his dying breaths, he reveals that he is actually Kyle Schneider, a member of Snake's support staff from Outer Heaven who survived the bombing raid after Snake destroyed Metal Gear. Schneider claims that the United States abandoned him and all other Resistance members in Outer Heaven and bombed the site to cover up the existence of War Orphans and Big Boss's activities. This is why he joined the Zanzibar Land mercenaries. Holding no malice for Snake, Schneider tells him that Dr. Marv is actually being guarded by a Green Beret. Snake tails the Green Beret through the jungle to the building holding Dr. Marv. Inside, Snake hears a message coded in tap code. With the game's instruction manual, Snake translates the taps into a radio frequency. The taps are coming from Dr. Petrovich Madnar, the inventor of Metal Gear, who also survived the bombing raid in Outer Heaven. Petrovich tells Snake he is a friend of Dr. Marv's and was captured along with him. Zanzibarland needs Petrovich because they have developed a new Metal Gear, a nuclear-equipped walking battle tank named Metal Gear D. Petrovich gives Snake the new location of Dr. Marv, as well as the frequency of a zoologist, Josef Norden, to aid Snake in animal matters. On his way to Dr. Marv, Snake receives a mysterious call from a person calling themselves one of his fans. This anonymous caller warns Snake that he's about to enter a minefield and should use his mine detector. Snake avoids the traps by collecting the mines for himself. Then, Snake meets a war orphan who claims he saw trucks drive over the swamp. Snake deduces that there is a traversable path hidden just under the surface of the swamp, which he uses to cross it. Snake is then ambushed by 
the fastest mercenary in the world, Running Man. The former member of the terrorist organization Les Enfants Terribles seals the building and activates a deadly gas, then runs away from Snake. Snake outsmarts Running Man by placing the landmines in his path. Snake gets a tip from another child soldier that Stinger missiles are being stored in the tank hangar. He backtracks to collect them, then travels north towards Dr. Marv. Snake receives a call from Holly, who warns him that Zanzibar Land has imported squeaking sand from Japan for security purposes. It proves ineffective as Snake sneaks through and meets a Hind D helicopter. It takes off and attempts to shoot Snake, but the Stinger missiles make short work of it. To enter the next building, Snake disguises himself in his trademark cardboard box, posing as a delivery. After being delivered deep inside the complex, Snake gets a call from Holly, who has been discovered and imprisoned. She doesn't know where she's being held, but she can hear an elevator, running water, and a pump nearby. Using this sound map, Snake finds her cell in the sewers, with the entrance cemented shut. With plastic explosives, Snake frees Holly. She informs Snake that Dr. Marv was able to release a carrier pigeon, which flew to the rooftop. At the 30th floor, Snake is ambushed by Red Blaster, the Zanzibar Land mercenary with a degree in special ops. His degree proves useless as Snake kills him with lob grenades. After reaching the roof, Snake finds Marv's carrier pigeon. The zoologist Yosef tells Snake that pigeons can't resist potatoes. Luring the pigeon with a B2 ration, Snake retrieves the message. Help! Wiss.Ohio Which is the radio frequency 140.51 upside down. Calling this number finally puts Snake in contact with Dr. Marv, but he can only speak Czech and Slovak. Dr. Petrovich tells Snake that Natasha Markova, a Czech state police officer assigned to protect Dr. Marv, is present on the base and can serve as a translator. Natasha, the only woman on the base, is undercover in an enemy uniform, so Snake can only contact her in a female-only area. The ladies' room. Natasha calls Dr. Marv to find he is in a building further north. Natasha knows a shortcut through the sewers. On their way, they find Dr. Petrovich in a cell, and he joins them. After a grueling trek through the sewer, Petrovich has to stop for his natural desire. Snake and Natasha take a break and talk about Natasha's lost love, Frank Yeager. Petrovich returns, and they exit the sewers. Traveling north, they come to a bridge. Because no one will care if he dies, Petrovich crushes first. Natasha is next to go, but halfway across it she is hit with a missile. It destroys the bridge and kills Natasha Markova. With the last of her strength, she gives Snake her Zanzibar land brooch and whispers Frank's name. On the other side of the broken bridge, Petrovich is carried away by guards and a massive walking battle tank approaches, Metal Gear D. From inside, Snake hears a familiar voice. It is Grey Fox, formerly the top agent in Foxhound, who was a victim to the bombing raid in Outer Heaven. Because of their former friendship, Grey Fox allows Snake to live and leaves Zanzibar land. But Snake has other plans. In order to cross the bridge gap, Snake has to hang glide from the roof of the tower, he finds a hang glider and takes the elevator to the top of the building. But it stops one floor too soon. Gray Fox calls to say that Snake should have gone home. Snake is then ambushed by Ultrabox, the four-man, close-quarters combat experts formerly under the command of the President. After disposing of the four horsemen, the elevator suddenly malfunctions and drops to the basement floor. To reach the roof, Snake has to take the stairs. 
When he enters the stairwell, he is caught by a series of guards who chase him up 80 flights of stairs. Finally at the hang glide point, he determines a good breeze with the help of gas grenades and sails to the other side of the broken bridge. Heading north, he is ambushed yet again. This time, Predator, the mercenary whose jungle stealth earned him the reputation of never having been seen by his prey. Snake blows him up with grenades and collects his prize, keycard 8. Snake then reaches an animal herding center and steals a pair of eggs. The first hatches into a snake and tries to eat his rations. The second egg hatches into an owl. A laser defense grid is blocking Snake's progress, but he gets a tip from some children that the facility is self-powered at night, meaning the grid is deactivated. By equipping the owl, Snake convinces a guard that it is actually evening, tricking him into shutting off the grid. Inside the camp, Snake is nearly ambushed one more time, but he receives a call from one of his fans, warning him that Night Fright, a killer with stealth camouflage and a silenced gun, is about to attack him. A former member of the guerrilla squad, The Whisperers, Night Fright is easily detected by seeing his bullets. Snake kills him and is puzzled as to why he didn't drop Keycard 9. In the next area, Snake finds that Zanzibar Land has been combating a rat problem by pouring puddles of sulfuric acid on the floor. He calls survival specialist McDonald Miller to learn that the sugars in chocolate combine with the acid to form a safe carbon gel. Laying out his chocolate-packed B1 rations, Snake crosses the puddles. His only path is blocked, however, by a keycard 9 door. His mysterious fan calls again to tell Snake that Predator had keycard 8 and keycard 9. Snake finds it in the tall grass. On the other side of the keycard 9 door, Snake finds Dr. Petrovich and Dr. Marv. But Dr. Marv is dead. Petrovich says it was heart failure, but Snake notices stains around Dr. Marv's neck. Petrovich says not to worry, because Dr. Marv was smart enough to keep the Oilix plans written down, on microfilm hidden inside a Konami MSX cartridge. However, Dr. Marv refused to unlock the locker containing the cartridge before he died. Suddenly, Holly calls Snake to tell him the truth about Petrovich. He was shunned by the academic community for his mad theories, so he aligned himself with Zanzibar Land, flowing the latest technologies to the mercenaries and aiding in the kidnapping of Dr. Kyo Marv. Petrovich admits it all. He upgraded Metal Gear D for Zanzibar Land. He killed Dr. Marv when he refused to give him the Orlex plans. When he left Snake and Natasha in the sewer, he wasn't answering his natural desire. He was contacting Gray Fox to come to the bridge. Petrovich then attacks Snake, choking him from behind. Snake, panicked, begins to shoot remote control missiles in a loop towards his own back. Petrovich falls to the floor, dead, when Snake gets a call about Natasha's brooch. It is actually a shape memory alloy. When room temperature, it is the Zanzibarland logo, but when heated, it changes shape. Snake sneaks to the Zanzibarland food freezer and the brooch transforms into a key. Hurrying back to the locker before it warms, Snake unlocks it to find the MSX cartridge is swarming with deadly poisonous Zanzibar hamsters. Yosef informs Snake that hamsters can't resist the cheese in his B3 rations. Using them as bait, Snake shoots each deadly poisonous Zanzibar hamster. After retrieving the Oilex cartridge, Snake finds Petrovich isn't completely dead yet. With his last words, he tells Snake how to destroy Metal Gear D. Blow up its legs with grenades. Just then, a trapdoor opens beneath Snake's feet. He falls into an arena with Gray Fox piloting Metal Gear D, which he destroys by blowing up its legs with grenades.
In the ensuing explosion, Gray Fox is unharmed, but Snake and all of his equipment are on fire. To put out the blaze, Snake has to abandon all his items and weapons. Then, Gray Fox challenges him to a fist fight in a small room covered in landmines. Snake receives a call explaining that Gray Fox was the best agent of Foxhound, but before that, he was named Frank Yeager and had a relationship with an Olympic ice skater, Natasha Markova. He rebelled against his superiors when Natasha could not be given a green card to the West. Now, Snake must defeat him to become the greatest mercenary in the world. And Snake does. Fox reveals to Snake his true motivations in Zanzibarland. He is trying to carry on Big Boss's dream of ensuring soldiers always have a place in the world. He feels he owes that to Big Boss for rescuing him as a child soldier. Gray Fox gives Snake the title of Fox, as well as the Oilex cartridge, and then he dies. Then Snake hears a voice from the next room, beckoning him. He enters the room to find... Big Boss. He survived the bombing run in Outer Heaven, along with every other person apparently, and established the Zanzibar land base to keep his dream of eternal war alive. He claims that Snake needs war just as much as he does, but Snake refuses, saying, I love life. Being completely unarmed, Snake is chased by the machine gun toting maniac around the room. Snake collects a series of key cards to access other rooms with other key cards, until eventually he collects a can of hairspray and a Zippo lighter. With the advice of Master Miller, Snake uses these two everyday objects to fashion a makeshift flamethrower. The tables turned, he is able to set Big Boss on fire killing him once and for all. His charred corpse revealed that part of his body was reconstructed using Dr. Petrovich Madnar's Bioroid technology. Big Boss actually forgets to mention this, but it is retconned that Big Boss reveals with his dying breath the snake, I am your father. His demons defeated, Snake exits the area, only to be held up at gunpoint. The soldier removes his uniform to reveal he was just Holly White, playing a joke on Snake. She gives him a gun and tells him to arrange for evacuation. Just as he does, however, they are ambushed for real. Snake and Holly shoot their way out of the facility to a clearing in the jungle. As guards flood after them, Snake finds his weapon is out of ammo. It's all over for Snake and Holly. when suddenly, bullets tear through the remaining soldiers. Charlie, the chopper pilot, is just in time to save the day. Holly and Snake board the chopper, expecting to make it home before Christmas dinner. Did I forget to mention it's Christmas Eve? Back at Foxhound, Snake, Holly, and Colonel Campbell load up Dr. Marv's MSX cartridge, hoping to find the world-saving Oilex documents. They find that the MSX boot screen reads, VRAM, 01K, which is Kyo Marv written backwards. Declaring the world saved, Snake silently departs, leaving Holly and the MSX behind. <laughs>